We're back in Elden Ring, and I have once again decided to alter the run. I have respect yet again. I can now once again dual wield some serious sword power here. And I have, I'll just show you. The damage is back, the bonkening will commence. We're in Stormvale Castle, by the way. I was just testing out some loadouts. I have changed the run. I've respect once again, but this time I've done it off camera, so you don't have to actually watch me do it. Previously, trying to roll some ro trying to roll some dragon incantation builds, I had arcane up to about 53 or something like that, and that was only so that I could use the bail spells that I unlocked. I, I've I loved the fight so much I wanted to check out his spells and abilities, but I had to respect to do it. The problem with the problem with my controller is that it's not working. Okay, unplug, plug it back in. Uh, the problem with the bail spells is there we go. Is that the bail spells have like 50 arcane requirements? Nothing else from the Dragon Covenants require arcane. The max you ever need is like 19 for anything. Like the the dragon cults, the lightning spells. I can actually just go over here, I can show you. They just require faith, 40 faith, but a lot of faith, but no arcane. The only thing that requires arcane are the dragon spells where you have like the dragon maw that's firing magma or firing frost breath, and you only need like 19 arcane max. Bale's Flame Lightning requires 53 Arcane. So that was the only reason I had Arcane. By cutting Arcane, I can then put the points into Strength. And with Strength and Faith, you can scale weapons with Flame Art and Sacred. It actually makes them, uh, well, actually do quite a lot of damage. In fact, I think I'm doing more damage now than I was with 99 Strength Heavy Watchdog Greatswords. So, I have a couple of Watchdog Greatswords we can use. I think it fits quite nicely. I also took the liberty of leveling up the gargoyle swords, the great swords that I was using back in the main Elden Ring game on occasion. So these are now max leveled. They actually do quite a lot of damage and they scale with faith and strength. And now we have 50 strength and 50 faith. Still 50 vigor and some mind and some endurance. We're gonna work on stamina, I think, next. Uh, I also have the Ancient Meteoric or Great Sword. It scales mostly with strength, a little bit with arcane. It actually is still pretty comparable to what uh to the other Great Swords, the Watchdog Great Sword. So it's still not that bad. I only have one of them. I was thinking about like muling a second one. Decided we're gonna keep it legit. So we have one of these, which I can single hand now. So if I want to cast a spell, I can. Effective one hit and then Yeah, praise this <laughs> and uh, I also have the katana now the katana its damage is not that high Because it's a katana, but it does attack quickly multiple times So yeah individual hits are gonna be less powerful, but it still is a pretty decent weapon. It's a pretty fun weapon There you go. Oh, it, oh, that actually looks really cool. I didn't realize it would light the sword on fire. <laughs> Flame skewer, huh? Not for very long. I'm kind of curious how that looks on a great sword. Can I put that on a great sword? Let's see. No, yes. That's gonna be freaking hilarious, hold on. Uh, great sword. Great sword. There you go. I mean, it looks pretty sick. I assume that it is giving the sword more fire damage, but 
Actually, you know, I can probably check. Fire damage 274, 188. Fire damage 274, 283. So it's giving it about 100 extra fire damage while it's in the fire state. You know what? That's pretty sick. No talismans. I took all my talismans off because I wanted to not have to fiddle with talismans affecting the stats. I just wanted to figure out how I wanted to build this with the stats that I have. And then you, you can be, I already have crag blade, you can be, I got another fire one, right? Uh, yeah, eruption, there you go, flame art. Cool. So we have new, uh, a new build, although it's pretty similar to the old build, except it is faith included. As a result of it being a little bit more faith included, I can, uh, I can cast some, some lightning stuff. And honestly, the lightning spells have been pretty fun. The dragon cults. The uh, dragon communion ones haven't been that like amazing, I feel. This guy didn't even notice. Oh, it must have been the wind. Get wrecked. All right. That being said, I think that's where we want to uh, to start today's Elden Ring. We're exploring a new place we haven't been to. I'm gonna level up one more time because I have the souls for that. In fact, I might level up another time. Level's getting pretty high. I think 150 is where people generally want to be for like PVP and, and like dueling. I think that's a, a well-respected amount of levels to be. I don't care about any of that. I'm just leveling up as I go and I'm trying to actually level up and not let my souls go to waste. Otherwise, Sigas Jr. is gonna be mad at me. Bonnie Village is where we are currently located. We just found a passage that leaded from the Moor Ruins. And it's a weird pop village. I do have to remember to go up here though. I do have to remember to go fight this dragon later. Okay. If you press up and hold, it actually selects your first spell. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I also realized I forgot about a spell. <laughs> and I should definitely uh, try out this spell. It was one of the spells that I wanted to check out and I never, I completely forgot to do it. Yeah, that one looks pretty cool. <laughs> placid, 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 placid is Sax's ruin. That'll be a fun one. Got him, by the way. <laughs> totally got him. Uh, oh yeah, and uh, no, 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 jump over this. And the talismans. Great shield. Stam recovery. Um. Ritual Shield Talisman I've been enjoying a lot. And then honestly, boosting HP is one thing. Better flask healing, I think, is maybe even better. There you go. Let's begin. That's right, you get out of here, squirrel. You team green or team black? Quote bot says green. <laughs> team green or team black? Like gungeon chest quality? O only one of those two things can give you clone. <laughs> Is that a positive or a negative? It's, you know, that's personal preference. Gotcha. So yeah, theoretically, um, again, rolling a mixed 50 strength, 50 faith, as opposed to 99 strength with flame art, this weapon has higher attack rating than it did previously when it was heavy. So it also does a little bit more damage in a different type, not just 
heavy physical damage, but also a little bit of flame damage. Or we could also make it do uh, holy damage, but that seems a little bit less appropriate, doesn't it? Why would why would a dragon do holy damage? I mean, why would a dragon do holy damage? It makes no sense. There's more of these guys. Throw something at me? Unfortunately, you can't. Is that a tarnished? That's just a dude. He's not even a ghost. He's just a dude. The greater potentate. Hey, hey dude. Weak foe ahead. The uh, thing about weapons like the Meteoric Greatsword, I've realized, is that you can't actually use... Uh, you can't change their stats. You can't change their scaling or anything. They just are what they are. Like, I can't make it a Flame Art Ancient Meteoric Greatsword. As a result, I can't increase its scaling. I have ways of resolving the situation. Hey, come here. What the? Is he slicing his wrist? Whoa! I think it's also healing him? Should not have gone for the dude. Come here. What's cool about that weapon stance is if you time it, you do a realistic cool combo says Academy Kill. You mean this one? The fire sword? Don't die to just some random guy. He's not some rander, random guy. He's the greater potentate. He's greater than the weaker potentates. I still really like the Milady as a, as a weapon. I like the move set. I like the speed of it. And it's got great sword in the title. So it keeps that animal part of my brain happy of Oonga Boonga. But also, this thing does look pretty sick. The large black blade of the Meteoric Greatsword. A little bit weaker than the Watchdog Flame Art, but uh, that's okay. It's got that cool factor. It's a guy who's been littering cookbooks everywhere. Kill him. It's the potentate guy. You're right, it, it, it's the dudes who makes the cookbooks. Why is he so aggro then? I love his, uh, his recipes. His original recipes. The Bonnie Butchering Knife. I just saw a guy use that. I can see what the ability actually does. Hold on. Man, rocks do so much damage in the Shadow Realm. Um. Weapon of the Greater Potentates of Bonnie Village. An outsized butcher's cleaver used to dismember human bodies in the making of great jars. It stores a very small amount of HP when it squarely strikes an enemy. Hone Blade. Perform a stroking action to sharpen the blade. <laughs> 
honing its cutting edge and increasing the amount of HP recovered. That looks like the same weapon that the invader lady uses in uh, Kaled at the church. Academy Kill says, main game was at new game plus two and the DLC follows that. What do you mean? Are you playing the DLC at plus two or am I effectively at new game plus two on the DLC? Do love a good jaw village. I mean, now we just have to figure out which of the multiple exits we want to take. There's like three exits to the Jar Village. You were playing at New Game too. Oh, I thought that was an enemy. I don't know if I'll play New Game Plus in Elden Ring. I think I'd be much more interested in, uh, I, I, I've been saying this repeatedly quite a lot, but I think I'd be much more interested in like creating invasion characters and having fun in normal game. Just want to have a good time. That got him. How much FP does this use? The thrust, not so much. The explosion, maybe a bit more. All right, so like that's that's the entirety of Jar Village, which is kind of a surprise. It's that small. I guess that's only half of Jar Village. The other half is over here. The hops on this guy. Oh my god. Fine. Where the hell are you? It's another greater potentate. One second. Come here. Got him. <laughs> oh God. The people throwing the rocks is what's gonna get me killed here. Could you, could you stop? Thank you. What an absolute jerk. It's fun because you can do all the quest lines like I did on New Game Plus and New Game 2. New Game Plus 2. That's cool, I do like the idea of uh, like New Game Plus being able to give you uh, the weapons you couldn't pick up on the first pass through the game, or maybe you could pick up some quests that you didn't do. I think I jump kicked him. That's just me being like weird collector, man, I think. Like, I gotta get all the items. It's not staggering you as much as I would like.
Gonna wait for him to, uh... Charge his weapon again. Go ahead. Go ahead. Gotcha. Oh, that time it didn't work. I guess he has to finish the animation of that, huh? Right. That's the third one down, huh? What's better than one potentate, three potentates? There's a lot of- why are there so many potentates? Where'd they all come from? The hell is a potentate? I don't know, I'm just killing them. One potentate, two potentate. What about three potentate? One potentato. Hello? Oh, I got all my flasks back. Ah, you see, this is way better. <laughs> I can bonk and yet still cast random magics and not have to worry so much about having to use the spells. Like, I still have damage. Why, why is this here? There's nothing here. It's, it's just it's a rock, <laughs> rock wall. All right, any more uh, potentatoes? First off, north. Okay. A heavy crackpot. We're gonna need more of those when we're dealing with the the furnace go golems. Because they're very annoying. Just a dude. Just a dude. Ugh, just a dude. Oh, mother. Interesting. Um, what did we just pick up? <laughs> Switch. Oh, mother. Okay. You know, there was a message in front of this guy, the Dryleaf Dane. Dryleaf Dane! What a name! There was a mes message there that said, try, try gesturing. Maybe we gotta gesture. Using the O Mother. Let's use the gargoyle greatswords. The heck? Hey, give me a second. Um. Is this a statue or is this snake skin? Why is there snake skin here?
Is there gonna be like a big snake boss? Because this is a big snake. Snake? Snake? How can how can we make a good snake pun message? Try is there a box? <laughs> I don't think there's box. Probably enemies. There's probably a snake in enemies. Try snake. No snake ahead. If only I had a snake. <laughs> Didn't expect snake. Visions of snake. Could this be a snake? Time for snake. Snake oh snake. Praise the snake. Let there be snake. Ah, snake. Snake! Snake! Snake? Snake! I mean, that, that one we can do, but that one's easy. But I think because I like it. Snake? Snake! There you go. Just put a little message on his head. There you go. Oh my god, it's so bright. <laughs> it's, it's too bright. <laughs> Alright, let me think about this. The only snakes I know of in Elden Ring are pretty much Rykard, right? I don't even know, I don't know if I know of any other snakes. I mean, Patches is a snake, but only in the metaphysical sense of the word, not the literal sense of the word. All right, before we cross one of the bridges, I wanna head down here. Deal with these dogs. Also, what the heck is Flame Strike? Look, these swords. Human Bone Shard. Living Jar Shard. Living Jar Shard. Where are you, dog? These swords, they don't have the range that I like from the Watchdog Great Swords, but they do have a lot of damage. I suppose not as much as the Watchdog, but more than the more than the Meteoric Great Sword, more than the uh, the Milady by quite a bit. Not my meat dumpling. I mean, there's, there's stuff down here. Bugs. Have we been down here? No, we've been down here. But there is like a bug altar or something? I don't know, it looks, looks creepy. Looks weird. What is this one? Corpse Cutter Wax is the ability on that one. Cool. Meant to jump off, didn't work. I, I like the tumbleweeds everywhere that don't actually give you anything. They're just tumbleweeds. That's a fair item, a fair item indeed.
I suppose we'll cross this bridge because it is closer. Pretty sure that we explored Bonnie Village. I don't think there's a way of getting these pots. None of them look like the type of pots that have, like, bell bearings inside of them. Those are usually up on walls, so... I think we're good. Alright, bridge it is. Right ahead. Bug. I don't see a bug. I thought maybe I heard it. Maybe not. Maybe yes. It's a scorpion ant thing! It's two of them! It's three of them! They're everywhere! Enemies everywhere! Actually, these are not scorpion ant things, they're just scorpions. Okay. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Damage. Raise the gorgeous view. Any ants, scorpion things gonna try to punch me from behind? No, thank you. I wanna bite one. Oh, I've activated their AI. <laughs> but they don't know where I am. Like, I, I thought there was supposed to be a tarnished over here. And they just ran off. worked. Oh, hold on. Excellent. <laughs> hey, Bander, welcome. How are you doing? Welcome to the Twitch stream. You like the Isaac videos. I haven't put, I haven't played Isaac in a few days because I lost my streak and I was very sad. But that's okay, Isaac, just like Gungeon, just like uh, Nuclear Throne, Slay the Spire, Monster Train, they all have their day in the sun, they'll be back. I like cycling them in and out. Just like, there's something here that I get stuck on. Back. Mountain. Oh, that is the Jagged Peak Mountain. What's what I'm seeing down there? Waiting for the next Isaac video. I don't think I've recorded any that aren't on YouTube. Seek dragon and then good luck. Yeah, I've done it. Sorry, was I supposed to come here first? <laughs> Bander, you and you and Disposable have definitely been asking for more Isaac. <laughs> Maybe I should play some more at some point. Wait, whoa, whoa. Heavy load?
Erdtree's favor gets me to non-heavy load. I think I need a couple more points in endurance. The Bonnie Gale. I'll rest. It'll respawn like four bugs. All of these jails seem to be themed the same. E.g. the horrors of being turned into flask people. <laughs> Not flask people, jar people. They're the jar peoples. We still bonk! We still be bonkin'. I also still have Margit's talisman equipped, which there have been secret rooms. I'm just putting him out of his misery. He was stuck in there. And if there's secret rooms, then Hopefully we can find him with this. This looks like a secret room. We're gonna show it to you so you don't forget about it. Have you been there yet? If not, you should. There's a ladder, so we get there from below. Fair enough. That would be there. Fair enough. Don't let me forget about that. What do I have on this one? Man, that Ash of War comes from Volcano Manor. I haven't been there in forever. It's on the other one? Oh, Cragblade. I didn't realize that if you had two Cragblades, you could Cragblade both weapons. You just need to duplicate the Ash of War. Is Abe your real name? It's real enough. <laughs> if you said Abe in real life, I would be like, huh? You talking to me? Wait a minute, why does that not sound right? All right, hole it is. No horse ahead. Sometimes I do have to uh, catch myself in real life. If I'm trying to tell a story and I'm using my real name in the story or something like that, I wanna say Abe and <laughs> I have to catch myself. Otherwise people are gonna be like, I'm sorry, what's your name? Sorry, who are you again? This is why I like heavy weapons. Just staggered that rat to death. Let's, uh, let's grab a milady for a bit. I do like a good milady. Ah, 
I hope if it finds a secret wall, it gives us some noise. Because otherwise I wouldn't notice. I wish there was like a, a torch or an item I could hold. That would allow me to recognize a secret wall. Oh. That's rude. That blood explosion he does, man, it's so strong. Oh, I did it again. Oh, guys, not tanky, but hits like a freaking truck. Gotta put out my sword. Stalwart Horn Charm. Probably raises some resistances of some effect. Oh, and this is uh, where we got the secret. So the path down does not, in fact, lead to a secret. How interesting. I think this is the way I need to go now. You know, the other benefit of having not just physical damage is that slimes are a lot easier to take out. Hold on. This, then this. She still did more. Ugh. I hate slimes, man. I like the smattering of random garbage from their corpses, too. It's like, yeah, they've been eating a lot down here. Did you say you were done with Souls games? I wanted to play the, uh, oh, there's more. I wanted to play the, uh, the DLC. But any Souls game that comes out from here on out, it would have to be special for me to play it, I think. The Souls fatigue is still there a little bit, but you know, I already played Elden Ring. I'll play the DLC for it. And if you're if you're still tired of Souls games, at least play the good one, right? If you're going to play one, make it a good one. Is there another path over here? Or was that the alternate path? I think that was the alternate path, right? No, there's another path here. This is where you came down. So what is off to the right, AKA straight? More slimes. I mean, I should definitely just be using lightning. I don't know why I'm not. I'm forgetting I have it, really. 
rolls of slime on my head. Who could have possibly predicted there would be slimes in this tunnel? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh. <laughs> no, but seriously, who could have possibly predicted slimes? All right, empty room or putrid uh, tree snatch thing? Or nothing. Oh, it's just a jar boy? Again, that's why I love heavy weapons. Curious how this works against these. Still staggers them, does magic damage instead of fire. But because it's a colossal sword, I do like the staggering capability. Poor son of a gun. I'm gonna guess they're pretty resistant, being that they are inside of pots, right? I also do wield them like this, but I like the more consistent style of just having the same sword twice. Behold Grace? <laughs> Excuse me? Behold, not actually a thing that's here. Yeah, I, I'm beholding it, all right. Just filling up, just filling up. Lost Ashes of War, I do have a lot of those that I've done nothing with. I don't think I've used a single one of those, actually. Okay. Take a drink. Slowly fly a little bit. I don't see anyone. Nothing down here. Found him. I am very surprised that I can't stagger him out of his attack when he's doing the grapple thing. Like that's, that's power. That hit me? What the hell did you throw that was so slow?
see the other one. Get back in there! That's where you belong. Mm, more meat dumplings. That sounds tasty. Get them! Get them! Get them all. Gotta get them all, meat dumplings. Ugh. Well, we're not needing to get on the pots at all, so... That's a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage, so it makes sense that I can do a lot of damage to them. If I'm too close to them, they can almost one-shot me. But this is why I like having big weapons. Big swords for... Big brain. Is that the blood fiend arm? Looks like the blood fiend arm on that guy. All right, we got ghosts, ghouls, and goblins. Guts so red from berserk. They glow red from berserk? I was really hoping he would roll off the edge. Ha. Ah. Well done. Praise the destruction. <laughs> I like those messages because they're just there. They're not doing anything. They're not stopping you from interacting with anything. It's just like, hey, by the way, yeah, you broke some pots and barrels, you evil man. Yep, yes I did. and maggot. I misread that for a second. <laughs> I, I was about to say, wow, that's very rude. Um. All right. Is there... There's no way across from over here, but that's fine. Abe, please say, ice, ice, baby. Dun, 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 oot, doot. Oh, hey, oh, hey. Wait, that's the wrong song, I think. I think I'm thinking of a queen song? Why am I thinking of a queen song? Ice, ice, baby. Hey, Quark, happy Friday. How you doing? Welcome. It is Friday. End of the week. No more work. School's out for the weekend. One day maybe that'll actually work. How come I saw this thing move before I even got here? Oh, the button! Just off up. I understand what they're saying. They're saying go up, not down. But... First off, turn back. Everyone's telling me to do that. Look, I'll do both directions, okay? I gotta... There's a boss first. <laughs> these things home in? What are these? 
Freaking aliens. Works says, I'm doing good. I have one thing to put away that I can't put away from grocery shopping. Why? Is it too large to fit in the fridge? You bought the whole cow? You're not supposed to do that. You got ripped off. Time for armor, seat lift. My God, all the messages, it's like, go up, go up, go up. Go, no, not this way, go up. No, not this way, go up. First, <laughs> the, all of these messages. Don't forget the armor up there, go up. It's like, oh, get it, dad. Okay, I won't forget. All right. I know I forget all the other times, but I'm not gonna forget this time, okay, dad? Why are you like this? Yeah, there we go. Finally, we get some action. Watching dudes fall into pits. I've been waiting to see dudes fall into pits. All right, who are we fighting? Uh, no strong foe ahead. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. All right, how about Meteoric, grab our talisman, grab a uh, Placidix. There we go. We're gonna beam this guy, whoever he is. First blade, Labyrinth? Oh, it's one of you! Alright. Start there. You do so much damage, though, I hate you! Alright, you knocked me out of my attack. Let's do it again. Could be better. Okay, I'm out of heals. <laughs> That's expected. <laughs> all right, all right. At least we get our flasks back. Okay. He doesn't look too strong. It's just like all the other ones that we've been fighting. He's just annoying because they all are. They're always annoying. Didn't hit him at all. Excuse me, coming through. They just have infinite stamp. That's, that's foot daggers. Why you have foot daggers, I don't know. I'm out of healing already? <laughs> uh, the problem of having act magic is that you run out of healing flasks as you have some of your flasks in magic. <laughs> Yeah, a light would make the fight easier. I should have I should have a light on. I should have a controller that freaking works. It's not the controller, it's flipping windows. 
Nope. What the fuck? Are you good? Have you have you detected the controller finally? I want to not be naked. Right, put the thing on that gives us more defense. And Let's give it a go. Also turn on the lantern. You definitely have a lantern. I do have a lantern, I just forgot to turn it on. I didn't think about it. This is a good idea though. Come here. Hi. Hopefully this lands. I had to try. Oh, one more hit. <laughs> Fort Mahler's welcome. How are you doing today? All right, all right. So that was the uh, that was the attempt with magic. Let's go for my lady. Go in there, get the souls first. I want these souls, man. There's a lot of souls. Where you are? <laughs> we actually got a stagger? How? How? Face the right way. Okay. You're dead. That wasn't too bad. I think we got a little lucky there. Curse Blade Mira. Those have to be good spirit ashes, right? Because these things are so annoying to fight. this be snow? No. They're so fast. They can close the distance almost instantaneously. You just gotta run away. I'm a, I'm a much bigger fan of big enemies, like the... I keep joking about it, but the ulcerated tree spirits. That's easy. That's just, you know, dodge when it attacks. It doesn't have like a 16 combo attack. It's dandruff. Oh. Have you played Pacific Drive yet? No, I haven't. Not yet, not yet. I have enough for a level up. More endurance, please. 
Ah, we don't need the lantern. But, now that we're up here, we can now do the both bonus directions that we need to go down. Never mind, you're just gonna kill me in one hit. What are you what are you even doing? You're just wiggling and then you explode. Could really hit the spot. Ah, nice, cool, refreshing drive. Well, I have things that can deal with you. Maybe. I hate you. You're you're annoying. At least, at least get the souls, right? I'm not I'm not using this. I'm using big swords. <laughs> I need the big swords to stagger their asses cuz they suck. Use a bow, you use a bow. You didn't even really get staggered. Did you? Did you? Hefty crack pot. Yes, I use bows. Well, there you go. You can use the bows for both of us. I don't even use freaking magic correctly. You think I'm gonna use a bow correctly? There is that sick repeating crossbow though. In path ahead. There's nothing in here. It's just an empty room. Wait, how do you get up? Oh, the button. You lift me right up, baby, right up. So that's our, our next destination, up there. Then tells me we're gonna get some armor. He grabbed me out of midair. Good job. That would be a fun. He grabs me out of midair. That'd be a fun uh, build, I think. A bow build. Bows have only been getting better in the Souls game franchise <laughs> since their introduction, where they were garbage. What direction is it? Oh, crap. It was down, right? Not towards the rats. I mean, if it was towards these guys, I can just run out of here. Hello. Hi. What's going on? Hey. I'm sure a bow build is 
Entirely possible. Bows were always good in every Souls game. Uh, doubt. What? How did I, how did we both miss? I've used bows in Dark Souls 1. I know how bad they can be. Whoa, there's another big guy. the farm getting a lot of experience just killing the same enemies not even at these guys All right, it's this direction I think see ya see ya Probably not smart to just run in one direction, but here we are. Jerk. Already used most of my heals. Oh, you know what I should have done? Just not rest. Then we could have just come back here super quickly. Okay, so, what? Makes the other one come down. I want creature sneakily running. Oh, there we go. Went all the way up. The helm of night, the armor, the gauntlet, and the greaves of night. This guy's armor must not have protected him very well. Bottomless greaves. Cool to the touch. Bottomless? <laughs> That's just... Masochistic. <laughs> We're going to give you impenetrable armor. By the way, your bare feet are going to be walking on the ground at all times. Could I, could I not get a cushion? Flowing lines in the seemingly shape of a fingerprint adorn the surface, imprisons the wearer in utterly lightless dark. Oh, they're all bottomless. Does that mean the butt? There's no butt? Oh, well, I can't even look at it right now. Uh, I guess that'll be for, you know, later. Proper fashion souls. You know, that that's fair. There's a wall. Dragon debuff. Dragon debuff? Dragon D's buffs. Oh, the debuff of I can't actually look at uh, armor. The shield of the knight! That's a black shield. A shield awarded to sword hands of the knight, cast in a bottomless black from which no light can escape. The outer surface is only semi-corporeal, providing reliable defense against attacks that are not physical in nature. Oh. It's so tiny! <laughs> it's so tiny! It's also smoking? Why is it? I thought this was gonna be like a 
Well, okay, it says small shield, but... It's a projectile? Pew! Pew! Unleashes the dark of night! Like, it's so, uh, dramatic. Only the black pitch of black cannot escape this shield, and it's just like this baby shield. Ugu. Lightning bolt, rather, dark bolt. <laughs> it's such a tiny ass shield. Uh. <laughs> ah, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, have we been up there? I think we have. It's probably not gonna be like a series of pots we have to jump to in order to get there, although how cool would that be? Oh, that's, the, yeah, we've definitely been there. Okay. Get out of here. 